back to the crochet crowd as well as my friends at yarnspirations.com. I'm your host Mikey. Today is the primrose stitch, a very simple, easy repeating stitch that has a little bit of uh, texture to it. Not too great, um, but it is a really nice, easy one to be able to follow. To change the size of this, it's in multiples of three. So just chain in multiples of three and you're good to go. Let's begin the primrose stitch. Let's begin and you're going to chain in multiples of three. So no matter what size, so one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, three. So once you're happy with that and you've decided you can lay it against something, make it a baby blanket size, you, you determine. Just keep it in multiples of three and let's start row number one. Let's begin going across to row number one. Here's the first one, go to the second chain from the hook and half double crochet into that. You're going to skip one chain and in the next one, you're going to apply one single crochet, chain two, one single crochet into the exact same chain. Now you're going to skip two chain and go to the third and do the same combination. So a single crochet, chain two, and single crochet into the same chain. So skipping two, go to the third, and you keep doing this all the way across. And eventually you're gonna have the final two chains left. So skip the, the next chain and go right into the last one with a half double crochet. And that was row number one. Let's turn our work and begin row number two. To start row number two, you're just gonna immediately chain three. That's your first double crochet. And in the chain two spaces that you have that are in between the single crochet, you're going to apply three double crochets each into those. So we have one, two, and three. So come to the next chain two space and put in three double crochet there too. And that's as hard as this thing gets. The trick is, is to make sure that your tension is not so tight that you can't see the chain two spaces. So then just keep on going across. And so when you have the last one, you're going to immediately just come into the very last stitch. So skip in the next single, just go right into your last half double crochet with a double crochet. And so that makes it a nice flat edge again. So you're gonna to wanna to finish on this type of, of row in order to have a flat side. So let's turn our work and begin the process again. To start a new row, you're going to chain just one and half double crochet into the top of the first double. Now everything is in groups of three, you can see that. So you're gonna come into the middle one of the double crochet group and you're going to apply a single crochet chain two, single crochet. Then look for the next group. It's the middle one here. So you're technically skipping two stitches to be accurate, but it's the middle one of the group of three. So single crochet, chain two, single crochet. And this is keeping all the primrose stitch lined up perfectly. So come to the next group, do the middle, single crochet, chain two, single. And then eventually you come into the other side here and you're going to want to put in a half double crochet into the top of the chain three. Okay, so don't go into a space, go into the actual chain work, and therefore that row is done. So then to start another row, you're going to chain three, which is your double crochet, and you're looking for the chain three spaces, or sorry, chain two spaces, and you're going to apply three double crochet in those. So we have one, two, and three. Come to the next chain two space, Use your fingers to open the stitches if you have to. But this is as hard as this thing gets. This is the primrose stitch. And I would finish on one of these rows that I'm, about, that I'm about to finish now. So then just jump to your very last one and just double crochet. So that's how this is done. And this is the primrose stitch.